Hey everyone, HMK here once again, and this is a, I would say, a more personalized video about what's going on, like my feelings on a certain thing that happened that I feel does affect me, um, but doesn't affect the channel, or it might have ramifications on the channel, it's still too early to say, but uh, let me just get down and dirty for, uh, for Alright, so for those who don't know, uh, I've been part of a network, an MCN called Maker Studios, uh, ever since I first got partnered way back when oh my goodness it's been so long uh i believe i first got partnered um in their in their lowest subsidiary uh back in 2012 and that's when i was starting out you know um so i was part of maker studios and then um through their rpm network which eventually became maker gen which eventually got faded out or whatever um basically you know i gained more subscribers i got more uh steam i got more uh traction and stuff and uh eventually i rose up to the ranks and i got to polaris which i am currently in right now and um i recently re-signed with them uh so i'm still part of uh polaris and um I was back. I was with Maker back before the time uh, they were bought out by Disney. If you didn't know, Maker did eventually get bought out by Disney, and I was with them before that happened. So at that point, uh, I was under Maker, which is owned by Disney. And every time I get a check, it's actually you know signed off by Walt Disney Corporation or whatever. So um, that's what happened. But at that point, Disney was kind of like you know it, it, they they just own Maker Studios. It's so like okay, we own you, so you know any money you make, we we. We make, uh, we have, we can put our foot in, uh, in certain things, help you with certain projects to show you off that Disney muscle, blah, 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 blah. But I mean, like, um, they were just, I would say, looming over Maker Studios for the most part, whatever. Now, flash forward to earlier this year. Uh, if you guys didn't know, if you don't follow me on Twitter, you should. HM Killer, follow me on Twitter. Yes. Um, there was a big, I would say, ma the big Maker purge that happened where, uh, Maker was, uh, effectively, uh, letting go or uh, terminating a bunch of contracts of a lot of their um, content creators, their partners on YouTube, and they had around uh, from what I take from what they've told me when I met up, met up with them with Paxis, like in the good range of the ten, tens of thousands of channels, uh, they're in that kind of ballpark. I, I want to say around twenty thousand, eighteen thousand, or whatever, and they downsized all those channels to around the ballpark of three hundred. Now, uh, for, the, for the longest, I thought I was on the chopping block, uh, and a bunch of my friends that are a part of Maker as well, we thought we were on the chopping block, but it turns out that uh, Maker wanted to keep me, so uh, after a couple of no uh, negotiations or whatever, uh, I decided to stay with Maker, and uh, that was a fate that, that I shared between m myself and Skyward Wing, a good friend of mine, other Kingdom Hearts YouTuber, you guys know him, whatever. So, um, that happened. Right, and then very recently, a couple of days ago, I actually wanted to make this video earlier, but I mean, like, there's a lot of things I was uh, tackling uh, around the couple of days span, whatever. Um, the news broke out uh, from a bunch of media outlets like uh, Wall Street Journal, Washington Post, and whatever, The Hollywood Reporter, that um, Disney was effectively dissolving and rebranding, as I take it, Maker Studios, as the new Disney Digital Networks, right? So everything that's owned, uh, everything that was and everything is owned by Maker is now becoming Disney Digital Networks, right? And uh, that news definitely, you know, took me aback when, because Sky uh, told me this uh, when I was streaming. And I'm like, yo, what is going on with Maker? Because, I mean, Maker is always, uh, not always, but I mean, for the longest, the most part of my uh, time with Maker, Maker has been owned by Disney. But now it's Disney Digital Networks. And what they plan to do, I, I've been doing a, lot, a couple of research on it, a bit of research on it. What they plan to do is uh, all the people within the network, they plan to, you know, incorporate a lot of Disney feel uh, to them or have them come on to Disney projects like uh, Oh My Disney, the Star Wars projects and uh, whatever, whatnot. And things that are owned by the Disney brand, which, of course, includes Lucasfilm, Star Wars, uh, Marvel Baby and um, most of that good jazz. So, I mean, it was it was a pretty big announcement and stuff and i just was wondering where that left me in the world of everything because according to the report they were like they were saying oh everyone under their banner there are 300 creators which i take it as i'm one of them 300 creators uh or is now part of the disney digital networks and stuff now um i've talked to a couple of my uh partner strategists that are located over to polaris and maker and from what they tell me that polaris is still its own thing within that 
that does focus on gaming. And from what I read a couple of reports, Polaris is still within Disney Digital Networks, aka Maker Studios or whatever. And um, they plan to, you know, incorporate them with some stuff. I believe that's what I've been told or that's what I've uh, come to understand. Uh, so this was definitely a big deal uh, happening because now the mouse is in the house because uh, uh, you know the the layman's term the TLDR of this whole situation that I take it take from this is that you know Maker Studios like Maker Studios is like the house and then Mickey Mouse is always you know having his eye in the house you know driving by seeing visiting uh whatever and stuff like that but now I think it's come to the point where Mickey Mouse just like bu- bust open the door like ha ha the mouse is in the house boys Maker Studios uh uh-uh, uh we change this to Disney Digital Networks get ready there's gonna be some changes around here you 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 come with me we're gonna go make I Am Disney Season 2 and you will be back for you later so uh <laughs> um that's what I think is going on and I really do feel the shadow of the mouse on my back at all times because I feel that he's watching me at any point but to answer a couple of questions that you guys might have that I hope I can answer is that will this change HMK uh in the long run significantly uh no I plan I don't plan on changing significantly of how I present my shows present my attitude towards you because what you see is what you get and I like to curse a lot I'm like a, a, a very rated R PG-13 type channel or whatever and you know Disney is very family friendly PG and stuff but according to my contract I still retain all creative control over my channel so that should I should be fine <laughs> for the most part I can still say fuck shit damn all that good shit uh blah 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 uh so the way I present myself uh should be fine for the most run um now does this make me want to change the content going forward that I produce uh, only a little bit, and what I mean that I'm explaining to you is that I all o- Legend of Zelda and Kingdom Hearts has always been the front runners of my channel, and of course, Kingdom Hearts half of it is Disney. So I mean, this kind of does it helps me in the long run. Yo, Disney Interactive, get me in with them Square Boys, HMK voices an NPC in Kingdom Hearts three. I don't know, but <laughs> but um, uh, I don't plan on changing that, but I do plan maybe. If you'll have it, evolving that. Because uh, over the years, it's been Zelda, but then I've slowly, and I think you guys have noticed, I've evolved into Nintendo. Of course, with Zelda still taking a uh, head point with the Nintendo content that I produce, but I do plan on making like a lot of things around Nintendo uh, on this channel. And of course, I've uh, dabbled a little bit with Square Enix, but Kingdom Hearts has always been the front runner. But Kingdom Hearts, half of Kingdom Hearts is Disney. And now with all this Disney stuff going on, uh, I've always prided myself in being a gaming channel entirely, but um, maybe it's time to mold that a little bit so that I can ease in Disney content, you know, branching off my Kingdom Hearts content and stuff. Um, And Disney, it's a whole other beast. And then, you know, thinking about when you come to films, animation stuff... Disney is the gargantuan, and then Nintendo of the video game world is the other gargantuan. Like, yo, Nintendo, Disney. Yo, imagine if they... Yo, don't even don't even get me started. So, I mean, content around that, I mean, Disney, I understand it's not for everyone. What am I talking about? Disney is for everyone. It's not going to be like, you know, the cutesy, cuddly shit that I'm going to... I'll be talking about. Maybe I'll go in down and dirty about how, you know, where Disney films got their inspiration from, what they're based on, and a lot of things they're based on is very dark and i love to cover a lot of that stuff and i want to know what you guys think about that about me covering hardcore aspects of disney on the channel it'll still you know have that disney magic to it i hope but um just given that hmk fire and flare hype you know so i want to know what you guys think about the possibility of me doing hardcore disney videos on the channel because I, I have to tell you, because I mean, I am a huge Disney nut. I love Disney. I love their films. I grew up on them and stuff. And that's partially the reason why I love Kingdom Hearts so much. And of course, you know, Kingdom Hearts, Disney. And I know a lot of you guys come to the channel for Kingdom Hearts. And I want to know what would you think of, you know, I, like I, I want to make this as clear as possible. Zelda and Kingdom Hearts will always be the main two focuses on this channel. But of course, they will be the front runners of Nintendo and possibly Disney going forward with the uh, shakeup of Disney Digital Networks because I do believe that might benefit me in the long run 
and I want to know what you guys think about that being applied to the channel. Of course, I'll test the wires a little bit, and of course, if, if it doesn't really that, get that much traction, then I, I, won't, I won't continue it, because I mean, that'll hurt my channel. Um, but I'll, I'll just like to say that this shakeup, this whole thing with Disney going on with Maker Studios and possibly Polaris, is, a, is definitely, a, it was a bit unsettling. I'm not mad about it. I'm not, you know, too worried about it. I'm just a bit con concerned about where that leaves me in the place, uh, the grand scheme of Disney's design and what they expect of me. And if they expect anything of me. But I mean, if it just, you know, turns out that, uh, yeah, they'll just rebrand and then that'll be the end of it. I'll just go about my merry way, of course, if Disney and Polaris still, you know, provides me the support and the greatness that the great things they've been giving me over the years and stuff like that. Because I, I, I love the network. I love the network that I'm in. And uh, I hope, you know, I'll continue with this network. And I hope this network will continue to support me as a content creator. And now with Disney being the big mouse behind my shadow or whatever. Uh, I hope Mickey will come to my aid. <laughs> oh my god. That's so weird. Um... But I just I just want to explain this to you because this is a legitimate concern and it's something that does affect me and there's some that uh, I feel it does, you know, like it's something connected to my channel heavily. So I want to convey that to you guys in order to be as transparent as possible because, you know, I, I love communicating with you guys and I love letting you guys be in the know what's happening with my channel or anything around my channel or whatever. Uh, once again, I want to make sure it, uh, it reiterate according to my contract and all that stuff. Uh, I, I retain complete creative control, uh, the channel's vision and direction will not change whatsoever, Zelda, Kingdom Hearts, but I do plan on broadening the scope, if you guys would so have it, and, uh, I just want to know what you guys think about this shakeup, I want to know what you guys think about, um, my plan going forward with this revelation, please leave all your thoughts and comments in the comment section below, and of course, uh, with all this, you know, things with ad revenue on YouTube, just a little minor digression. If you want to support me, HMK, the best thing you can do, of course, is sharing my videos, favoring my videos, liking, hitting that like button, and hitting that bell right next to the subscribe button if you are a subscriber. And if you want to go that extra mile, you can check me out on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and of course, support me if you would on Patreon. So, guys, until the next HMK video and until the possible next Disney video, I've been HMK. <laughs> And I'll check you guys later.